The drone war in Ukraine prompts the US and Russia to develop new armored vehicles. The success of using kamikaze drones in the war in Ukraine against heavy armored vehicles surprised most of the world's military commanders. The successful use of FPV drones highlighted the vulnerability and ineffectiveness of armored vehicles on both sides, reports the Kyiv Post. Citing an article in the US military magazine Breaking Defense, the publication emphasizes that such use and capabilities of drones in Ukraine will influence future developments of armored vehicles in the world, in particular the next generation replacement for the US M1 Abrams main battle tank and the M2 Bradley infantry fighting vehicle. The material noted that during a full-scale invasion, Russia relied on standard military operations where the main emphasis on the battlefield was armored vehicles that would ensure advancement, but the emergence of modern attack drones became the fly in the ointment in this war. Perhaps it was the imperfection of the first drones that led to the initial underestimation of the threat because the first FPV drones introduced in Ukraine were based on modified racing quadcopters costing less than $500. The material says, however, according to a February report from the International Institute for Strategic Studies, Russian troops lost about 9,000 armored vehicles in the first two years of a full-scale war, and this was greatly facilitated by the successful work of Ukrainian FPV drones. Therefore, both Russians and Ukrainians began to take measures to protect themselves from drone strikes. The need for countermeasures was obvious, which led to the appearance of so-called frameworks on tanks and armored personnel carriers of both sides aimed at protecting against drone strikes. Another method of protection was to block the control systems of drones, which in turn led to the development of drones with increased resistance to electronic warfare, the publication notes. The story also emphasized that US armored vehicle developers are facing a threat and are now considering what steps need to be taken to provide better immediate protection, but more importantly, what impact this will have on the next generation of US armored vehicles and of course all other countries. In the short term, they plan to upgrade the M2 Bradleys that serve in the US military with the Israeli Elbit Systems Iron Fist Active Protection System. This detects an incoming missile or drone and fires a projectile to intercept it in flight, writes the Kyiv Post. And the head of the planning department for the next generation of American combat vehicles, General Jeffrey Norman, in turn noted that he and his team are closely monitoring the situation in Ukraine to make sure that everything is done correctly to develop future military equipment. Russian troops have destroyed Ukrainian Armed Forces Su-25 aircraft with the use of Lancet-3 loitering munition in Dolgensivo airfield in the Dnipropetrovsk region, Russian Defense Ministry reported on Tuesday. In a post in its Telegram channel, the Defense Ministry stated that the aircraft was struck in the base of warplanes belonging to the Ukrainian Armed Forces, adding that the destruction of the aircraft is confirmed by objective monitoring footage. The Ministry shared the footage of the destruction of Su-25 aircraft. This was not the first case of Russia striking a Ukrainian airfield in Dnipropetrovsk. On April 21, Russian armed forces struck MiG-29 fighter aircraft in an airfield in Dnipro City, the administrative center of Dnipropetrovsk region. During the attack, Russian forces also hit the Pelican all-round radar station and a workshop for the production of unmanned aerial vehicles, the Russian Defense Ministry reported. It should be noted that Ukraine's air defense units from Air Force Command East reported on Tuesday striking two incoming guided air missiles that the Russia had launched at Dnipropetrovsk region. The air defense stated that the struck missiles were likely the KH-59-69S. Earlier, Ukrainian media reported that a Russian artillery strike on the town of Nikopol in Dnipropetrovsk region left a local woman injured.